As we might already know, quantum mechanics deals with the atomic and subatomic worlds. Now, when we make measurements of objects found on the atomic and subatomic level, there always exists an amount of uncertainty that involves those particular measurements. In fact, there is a limit to how precise those measurements can be made, and this is known as the Heisenberg Uncertainty Principle. Now, as we'll see towards the end of this lecture, the Heisenberg Uncertainty Principle is a result of the wave-particle duality of matter that exists on the subatomic and atomic level. The Heisenberg Uncertainty Principle has absolutely nothing to do with the actual device or instrument that we use to measure those measurements. So, to fully understand what the Uncertainty Principle is, let's conduct the following thought experiment. Suppose we have an electron and we are asked to determine the position of that electron using some type of hypothetical device. Let's suppose a powerful light microscope. Now, if we want a precise position of that electron at some instant in time, the wavelength of light light used by that microscope has to be very small. It has to be on the order of the size of our subatomic particle, our electron. Now recall, if we decrease the wavelength of the light used by the microscope, we increase the energy carried and the momentum carried by the photon of light. So, that is given by this equation. The momentum of the photon of light used by the microscope P is equal to C, the constant that gives us the speed of light in a vacuum divided by the wavelength of light used by the microscope given by lambda. So basically, if we want a more precise location of the electron at some moment in time, we have to decrease the wavelength of light. But if we decrease the wavelength of, of light, we decrease the denominator and thereby increase P, the momentum of the photon. Now, why is this relevant in our discussion? So, let's examine the following diagram. So, this is the eye of the observer making our observation. Now, this is the scope of our powerful light microscope. So, the microscope uses a certain wavelength of light that is shown by the following orange arrow. Now, in order for us to actually see that electron, our light has to actually interact with that electron. So the photon of light basically collides with the electron, reflects, and eventually reaches the eye of the observer. However, what actually takes place between our electron and photon is a collision takes place. And that collision between the photon and the electron basically transfers some of that energy and momentum to that electron and the electron moves away with some velocity. So basically, the lower the wavelength is, the higher the momentum of that electron is and the higher the velocity of that electron is after that collision takes place. So even though we might know the precise position of the electron at that moment in time, because of that collision, our electron will move away with some unknown amount of momentum, with some unknown amount of velocity. And that means we have no way of actually knowing the future position of the electron and we have no way of knowing the momentum that the electron has if we know the precise position of that electron at that particular instant in time. So, once again, 
if we want a precise measurement of the electron's position, we need a photon with a small wavelength. However, such a photon will carry a large amount of energy as per this equation, and the collision between the photon and electron will cause that electron to move away with a very high velocity, which will change that electron's position as a result. Although we might know what the position of the electron is at that instant in time, we have no way of knowing the momentum of the electron and therefore no way of knowing where that electron will be at some future instant in time. So basically, this uncertainty in knowing the position of the electron and at the same time the momentum of that electron, the velocity of that electron at the same time, is the basis of the Heisenberg uncertainty principle. Now mathematically, the Heisenberg uncertainty principle is given by this equation, delta x multiplied by delta px is greater than or equal to h bar where h bar is simply a constant h bar is equal to h Planck's constant divided by 2 pi so if we divide these numbers we see that h bar is equal to 1.055 times 10 to negative 34 joules per second so basically the delta x is the change in our position of the electron along the x-axis and delta px is the change in the momentum of our electron the subatomic particle along that same x-axis now what exactly is the meaning behind this equation what does this equation actually tell us so this equation tells us that the more precisely we know the position of our electron the smaller the delta x is the larger our delta p is the less precisely we know the momentum of our electron so basically if our delta x is smaller to compensate for that smaller delta x because this is a constant the delta p has to increase so this basically means that it is impossible to measure precisely the position and at the same time the momentum of our particle at some given moment in time so this does not mean, of course, that we cannot make precise individual measurements. We can, for example, determine the precise position of an object, our electron, at some moment in time, but then the momentum would be completely unknown. So that basically translates into this equation. The smaller our uncertainty is in our position, the smaller our delta x is, the greater our uncertainty is in our momentum, which gives us our future position. So the greater our delta px is. So this basically implies that we have absolutely no way of knowing the future position of our electron if we know exactly where that electron is at that particular moment in time. Now, once again, we have to emphasize the following important point about the Heisenberg Uncertainty Principle. The Heisenberg Uncertainty Principle has absolutely nothing to do with the precision of the measuring instrument that we are using. The Heisenberg Uncertainty Principle is an inherent property of nature and comes from the fact that matter on a subatomic level can act as particles as well as act as waves. That is, the reason an electron does not have a precise location and momentum at any given moment in time is because our electron is not actually a particle.